Okay, we're going to do diavoletti di pieni, which is an extremely easy recipe okay. to do. It. Okay, very, very okay. simple. Uh, do you want me to go through the ingredients? Yeah, what have we got here? The red okay, peppers. we got the red pepper or mm -hmm. the red pimiento, we got some ricotta, mm -hmm. we got a lemon, uh, we some got a, a little bit of uh, rosmarino, mm -hmm. okay, and we got parmigiano reggiano. How can they do it? How can and, Italians uh, make um, everything sound so and romantic? Capperi. 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 Okay. I think it means capers, man. So, okay. capers. Uh, capers is very easy to do it. So, okay, I'm going to show you how to do it. First of all, you have to cut the pimento lengthways, mm -hmm. okay? Okay. Now, you cut the peppers, mm -hmm. you take some of these uh, seeds out, mm -hmm. or take the most of the seeds out, put them in a tray or into a bowl, yeah. whatever you want, you uh, drizzle with a little bit of uh, oil, yep. put in a little bit of salt, and the salt is good because all the moisture from mm -hmm. the pepper is going to come out, yeah. and it's going to cook very, very beautifully. You right. mix everything together, mm -hmm. okay, and it goes straight into a griddle pan, like this one, uh, and this, this is where we smoke with Japan. pan. Yes. <laughs> now, remember this one, they don't really have to be completely cooked because mm -hmm. I like them nice and al dente. Now, for the capers, I use capers in salt, yep. which you rinse with a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. Very important to do that. I do not use the one in vinegar okay. for this recipe, okay? Now, capers, you chop them up. We're using the very little one here. Now, no, the capers goes in there. The ricotta goes into a bowl. Mm -hmm. I would always use buffalo ricotta. The reason here is, you know, you guys know, the buffalo ricotta is much smoother mm. than the usual sheep ricotta. Do, do, Dalton or Paul, do you ever cook sort of Italian-influenced dishes? Yes, uh, lots of raviolis, lots of uh, tortellinis and things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Bits and bobs. Yeah. Bits and bobs. Not, not, not a huge amount, but yeah. Bits bobby. Sort of touches Bits the Bits and bobs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah, salt and flat. pepper, capers goes in there, mm -hmm. and of course, you know, I was saying uh, before to Maddie, you can do your own ricotta if you want to. Now, so, you, you've just been made executive chef at the canteen, haven't you? Would you cook something like this there? Oh yes, we do have this one on the menu. Oh. Uh, so, because it's very simple, so you do yeah. the ricotta, especially if you got a party, you can prepare this one ahead. You can prepare ahead, put a bit of clean film, leave it into the oven, nice uh, into the oven, so into I the fridge. So I this in the morning then at the, at the cottage that we're staying at and just, yes. and just get it ready and then... You can it. even do it, uh, Amanda, this one the day before. Now, the peppers, you can marinate and everything, but it's nice to do them then and there.